Hello, everybody. My name is Oren, and I'm the CEO and founder of Question. You can see this as the Web3 version of Google Form or SurveyMonkey. So a little bit about me. I was born and raised in New York City. I graduated from NYU, and when I graduated, I went on Dr. Phil's national television show as a cyborg from the future. And I have over a quarter million followers on TikTok, you know, 15,000 on Instagram and 40,000 on YouTube. After going on national television, I had the chance to interview Neil deGrasse Tyson, the astrophysicist. And when I interviewed him, we spoke about data and data being a human rights issue. And so this business was inspired by that conversation that I had with Neil deGrasse Tyson. And so this is our team. I'm the CEO. You have Daniel Fadley, who's our CFO, Anibal Serio, who's our CLO, and Wojtek. I met Daniel Fadley and Anibal both at NYU, where I went to school, which is Stern. So what's the problem? The problem is that collecting meaningful surveys and brand insights is difficult in today's market. Finding participants that accurately represent your target profile is difficult and time consuming. And traditionally, surveys suffer from low engagement because participants view them as time consuming. What is the solution? We believe the solution is Question. And Question is a blockchain-based market research platform where businesses fund surveys, reward participants, and preserve privacy using our data wallet-driven profiles. So how does it work for the business? The business comes to our, uh, to our platform and they create a survey and they can use AI to help them assist with the creation of this survey. After you've drafted your survey with or without AI assistance, you then can load it with incentives. In this case, they can load it with cash through Stripe, or they can load it with Koi and Koi native tokens. It's a complete self-service marketing tool. So you sign up, you create your profile, you create your surveys and you manage your campaigns from the dashboard. And we're powered by blockchain. How does it work for users? Well, we have a seamless web two to web three experience. The users will come to our platform. You sign up with a magic link and you've been authenticated through that OAuth token. When you complete a survey, we give you a zero knowledge proof. So that's your proof of participation. And so when you ask us to pay you in cash or cryptocurrency, we scan for that zero knowledge proof for the survey. And if you have that zero knowledge proof, we'll unlock the funds. We're a growing ecosystem. So the goal is that users like yourself, Koi community, can come to question, can look, hey, I want to take a survey in healthcare or in science or in finance. And you can filter through the different businesses. What are they offering? What's the length of the survey? And pick surveys that identify with your values and time. And lastly, we have KYC integration. So when businesses create these surveys, they can go ahead and use Fractal to access gate who can access it. So they can say, we only want African Americans between the ages of 20 to 30, you KYC. And once you've been KYC, you'll be free to interact with that survey. Why are we building this on blockchain? Well, first, the zero knowledge proofs act as a mutable proof of participation. We can directly incentivize participation using digital assets, right? Such as coins, uh, tokens, and NFTs. We want to help users monetize their data and using the blockchain to help unlock the value of that data. And then we can cultivate fans or super fans on chain. So as users complete these surveys, they unlock tokens, they unlock NFTs, and then we can track these users on chain and continue to interact or engage with them using their blockchain based wallet. And so we'd like to build this implementation on Koi. We built the initial MVP on Near, and now we want to build this on Koi. Why do we want to build this on Koi? We want to pioneer survey research and blockchain-based rewards in Koi's native token. We want to demonstrate the versatility of Koi dApps. We want to leverage Koi as a survey reward to help incentivize participation and introduce crypto curious individuals to the Koi network in a frictionless manner. How do we make money? Well, when businesses create packages, we basically charge them to be able to create these packages. Or when businesses create surveys, we charge them to be able to create these surveys. And so we have packages depending on the number of people, the number of blockchains, and the different AI features that you want. In addition, we also have some customizable upgrades. So businesses, when, when they list their surveys in the survey marketplace, they can be verified so that they have that extra sense of credibility. We have data clean room. So when a business creates a survey and issues it, they can put their data in the data clean room and share it with third parties without having to worry about any data leaks. And then we have an SDK. So if you don't want to use our native survey platform, you can embed your survey on your website where your fans or your audience naturally is and be able to allow them to monetize their data that way. And the final way that we make money is through the sale of user data. And so what is our go to market strategy? First, we want to work with Web3 organizations. We believe that there's familiarity since a lot of Web3 organizations already have play to earn mechanics. And so we're trying to work with these blockchain organizations to revitalize their community engagement and data collection methods. So imagine giving out a paid survey after a hackathon or after a conference or after a game test and collecting feedback and then paying users for this feedback, incentivizing even more feedback because people are being paid for their time. 
after we've scaled and developed a couple of use cases in Web3, we want to pitch to go into Web2 organizations. Specifically, we want to target lifestyle goods, marketing agencies, and beauty brands. And this is the competitor landscape. You have Google Form, Jotform, and Qualtrics. Those are survey tools. And then you have market research communities. And I believe that question takes survey tools and market research communities and puts it together. This is a little bit about our financial forecast. We have not taken on an official investor yet, but when we do, we want to raise at least a million dollars. We're looking to build out our data wallet infrastructure. I can talk about that later. We want to get ISO compliance. We want to do a global marketing strategy, and we want to develop this as a mobile application, right? Um, Oberlo says that 53% of website visits are from mobile. So having a desktop only app, I think is a little short sighted given everybody's mobile dependence. This is a little bit about our press, right? We've received a star prize from Octopus Network. We've graduated from the Filecoin Accelerator. We've placed second and fourth in some hackathons, and we've been in the ecosystem for about two to three years now. And so this is a little bit about our roadmap. We had an NFT launch on Near last year. We've officially launched on Near this year, and we're looking to go multi-chain and build up that mobile application for the future. My name is Oren, we're Question, and thank you. And I think the last thing that I would like to do, if I have a little bit of time, is just show you guys what this looks like from the business experience. So a business will come to our platform. This is your dashboard with all of your surveys. We're gonna create a survey. This is what it looks like on Polkadot. It would be different for Koi, but again, you create that survey. Let's create an AI survey, right? We're gonna create it about Polkadot. We're going to list the number of questions. We're having the AI draft the questions. Now that the questions have been drafted, we have that template. And now we go to the survey checklist. That's the draft, and this is the survey checklist. So this is where you can add payments, this is where you can add NFT rewards, and this is where you can access gate. And so we're just gonna show you some of the funding of the survey. You can see on chain that this survey was actually funded and that there's a transaction has on chain. And this is basically your dashboard to edit your survey. And once you're finished with it, you publish it and then you share it with your community. My name is Oren, we're question, and thank you. Wow, thank you so much, Aaron. Really, really beautiful to hear about what you guys are doing. Um, it's great to see you monetize uh, the opportunity between blockchain and non-blockchain sectors. Uh, how important is that revenue coming from the real world as opposed to just uh, kind of recycled liquidity on chain? I think it's super important because I think we have a lot of Web3 focused products, but I think for crypto to become the savior that we all feel that it could be, we need to find ways to get those Web2 communities in. And so that's the reason why with this product, my goal is that, you know, I have grandparents who are in their 80s and I'm like, I want them to be able to sign up and earn and begin to get NFTs. And so if that process is too confusing or if there's too many wallets or too many things, I think we'll lose them. And so. I really want to be that bridge so that people can get into crypto, they feel safe, they've signed up with their email address and their earning, and then they go off to other DeFi protocols or, or other Web3 based uh, initiatives. Usability is definitely something that's neglected in our sector, and it's really nice to see you really proactively going after that. Uh, congratulations on that. Um, I have a question. Uh, Q QSTN integrates blockchain technology to give users control and ownership over their data. Can you explain how this works in practice and what, what benefits that offers to users? Of course. Well, first you get to monetize your data. So you get paid for contributing your data and then you get proof of contributing your data through a zero knowledge proof. And then you can monetize your attention through cash or through blockchain based rewards. And, you know, I believe that, you know, we all talk about a universal basic income and, you know, everybody earning a certain amount of money. And I believe that our platform can be part of that revolution. I see a future where people come behind their computer. They say, hey, I have a free hour. Let me answer some surveys. Let me see how much I can earn in the next hour. And then I'll go back to my business and hopefully being a interface and a marketplace for businesses and users to transact their data and to autonomously do such. I never thought of that before, Rukin, but I love the word survey to earn. Thank you for that. I might have to coin that, no pun intended. Your platform rewards users with ethically sourced tokens for participating in surveys. How do you ensure that these tokens are ethically sourced? Good question. Really, we are a... Really, I would see us as an infrastructure provider. We provide the infrastructure for you to create, deploy, and manage your surveys. And so we actually don't take 
any of the cryptocurrency or the cash that you fund uh, to the users. So we're really just an interface to have that survey, create that survey with AI, deploy that smart contract, and you manage that smart contract. And using the zero knowledge proof, you have that verification that the user unlocked it. And so really we want to just be a infrastructure for you to fund any and all tokens. Um, obviously not trying to facilitate any securities given that I'm in the United States, but um, really ethically sourced is really at the discretion of the business who is creating the survey themselves. That's great. Um, so about these AI generated surveys, uh, they're a unique feature on QSTN. How does your AI system create these questions and how do they compare traditionally to traditionally created surveys? Good question. So I'm surprised that with the whole AI boom that we've had over the last year that there aren't more AI survey tools. There are, but they aren't done by Google Form, Qualtrics, JotForm. I think they're a little bit slower. And so you have some new entrants who are creating AI based surveys, but they don't have that payment integration. And for us, what we do is we have an API to ChatGPT. You want to create a survey, you give it that prompt, it fills out a template of what it thinks the survey should be, and then you have a template that you can basically build off of. So AI helps with the survey drafting. And then we had a lot of feedback from people just about, you know, the credibility of a user response. And so what we also do is we use ChatGPT to basically, when you complete a survey, let's say, David, we send you a survey and you complete it, us as the creator of that survey will get a score and it'll score your answer and using ai we say hey we think that he was basically bsing and so we're going to give him a credibility score of 20. or you know he answered every question there wasn't any aaa bbb and so we're going to give him a credibility score of 80. and so it's ai for the survey drafting and then ai for the response filtering to help the businesses to understand okay i don't want to reward him for his time or i do want to reward him for his time or i want to keep working with him because he has a good credibility score and helping businesses to filter that data and then the future the future 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 one day what it'll be is you know let's say i'm koi and they send david a survey and now we have answers from david and a bunch of the koi community eventually you could just talk to your data so how many people answered a for question one and you'd get that answer back we don't have that yet but that's what i think is the future for this is you can literally talk to your data and ask it questions using ai and get those insights just by asking um, but i think we're a couple months away from that yeah and you mentioned gamification um can you share some examples of gamification features or, or what you're what you're building of course yeah. so this feature this feature is coded it hasn't been implemented yet but we want to do we're, we're basically building a leaderboard and the leaderboard will have the most active businesses who have created and you know rewarded the most number of surveys and then the most active users and the users who have completed the most surveys and who've, uh, who've earned the most uh, cash or maybe cryptocurrencies and having daily challenges for people to be at the top of that leaderboard. And then of course the gamification itself of just answering surveys, you know, multiple choice, short answer, and then just earning the rewards and tracking your rewards within the dashboard. Mm, yeah, nice. And uh, this, I see Foster's community centered around data ownership um, in this Web3 landscape. Can you elaborate on how your platform contributes to this growth of community and what users can expect from being part of your project. I think the internet is just like a bunch of people who are coming together. And I think that we need to start rewarding these people because you know the Facebooks and the Instagrams have made billions of dollars off of our effort and off of our data. And so I'm trying to just build a tool that helps us to take back, like we are the content creators of our data, right? And so I'm trying to help us to get back that value and to help us have more forms of governance, right? And and being paid for that governance and being paid for that governance on chain with, verifi with verification also on chain. Yes, and I guess this is related to the NFTs as they play a significant role in the in the project. Um, can you tell us more about uh, the symbol NFTs, unique designs, rarities, and these these kinds of things? Of course. So when businesses create surveys, they can fund them with cash through Stripe, cryptocurrency through smart contract, or um, an NFT, and and soon we'll also have soul bound tokens, right? Before we initially released the project, we did an NFT release. And the NFT release was basically our logo, which is a question mark holding a coin. We got permission from over 
25 different projects on near to use their logo as a generative trait and so we did a thousand nft pieces um we priced them very cheaply we sold out the entire collection and basically everybody who held those nfts got early access to the platform to be a beta tester and you know we're looking at maybe replicating uh the collection right because it's basically our logo which is a question mark holding a coin and you know we could do that on koi right get permission from a bunch of projects on the koi network to basically use their logo as a generative trait some are you know some logos are more rare some logos are less rare and you know offering a community uh engagement tool such as that but yeah i love nfts um you know i minted my first nft in 2020 and in 2021 it ended up selling for you know over four thousand dollars and so i love nfts like just as like a trading asset as digital art i have a, a, a mood board and so they're of course incorporated in our business model beautiful yeah i can really imagine how that enhances the gamification especially on chain um beautiful as as the project continues to grow to evolve what are some of the key milestones upcoming events or things that we can look forward to? Um, well, first and foremost, it would be ideally launching on Koi, right? And engaging the Koi community. I mentioned this during my pitch deck, but a data wallet. So surveys are conscious data, right? We might uh, survey David and we say, David, how many times did you eat today? And David might go, oh, only twice, right? David's on the diet. David doesn't want, you know, he might not consider the third meal as an actual meal. We basically want to build a data wallet. And so you connect your social media to this data wallet and we pay you daily for allowing us to collect your data. And so that's your subconscious data. And so through your subconscious data, we might see David said he only ate twice, but he had three purchases related to food. And so we're trying to get the conscious data through the surveys and then the subconscious data do the data wallet. So you connect your social media to the data wallet. We take your data, anonymize it, sell it, learn the insights, and then you might earn, you know, a koi a day or five koi a day for allowing us to access that data. And then we have the full picture on who you are. So building out that data wallet, um, we got a patent for the data wallet. So ideally maybe licensing this IP to larger companies and more, just, just more community, more just, just really just getting it out and, and going big with this. I've been in the crypto space since 2017. I started working on this project December 2020, and you know I've been very faithful the entire time. So I'm really excited to see how my project stands against the greats of crypto. Yeah, that's amazing, and the features you talk about, like wow, because like when I've filled in surveys, often there's a questionnaire, and I think I know what my answer is, but. Sometimes I doubt myself and I think, well, do I actually know or am I just like thinking that I know the answer? Mm -hmm. So really interesting to hear how you're like cross-referencing the information, really getting that contextualization, that full full data picture. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, great. Um, do you have some kind of call to action for the people that are really excited here today to go to the next step? I would say follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash QSTNUS. Um, we, we're pretty active. I haven't tweeted today. I manage the social media. So if anybody wants to reach out and DM us, I will be the one answering you. We didn't tweet today. Um, I haven't gotten the visual for today. But basically, we're pretty active on Twitter. We host daily giveaways. So on Monday, it's question of the day. If you answer the question and I like your answer, we give away some free crypto. On Tuesday, it's term Tuesday. We don't give away anything, but on Thursdays, we have trivia Thursday. And so we have multiple choice questions. You, if you get it right, we basically um, give away some free crypto. You join our um, Telegram and our Discord. We do contest Sundays. We do like trivia questions on, on Sundays in our Discord. And we also just have NFT giveaways um, for the holidays. The last one was for Easter. We did one for St. Patty's Day. We did one for Valentine's Day. And we also did one for... December. So I would say if you want to get involved in the community, join our Twitter, um, join our Telegram and our Discord, which is in the link in bio on Twitter, and just keep your eyes open because we're going to be very active in this community and looking forward to, you know, engaging each and every one of you. Amazing. Yeah, so great to hear about your project. Remember, guys, to uh, follow all the projects presented here today. Wow, looking forward to hear more as the upcoming weeks arrive. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, pleasure.